Hello everyone, I'm Sir Click and you're watching a brief guide to the galaxy on EVE Online Let's Play tutorial for new players, episode number 3. If you haven't watched episode number 1 or number 2, please make sure you do watch them because those episodes are somehow connected. Last time we went and we did some scavenging in the zero security space and then we kick started our career in exploration here in low security space. We actually also managed to get our ship blown up by a dude called Zack Mornbringer, I think. Shout out to you guy, the, the person was kind of kind enough to give us back the, um, the loot from our ship. Not from the site we were doing, uh, but at least from the ship. So this is our brand new ship here. Uh, actually, <laughs> you don't know that, but I got blown up another time off camera due to my stupidity mostly and uh, this is actually ship number three as you see it now uh, today I want to step back guys a little bit in this episode and talk a little more about exploration not go too much into the details but at least give you the main things that you need to know about that 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 type of gameplay and let's start first and foremost by location let me bring my UI back we're alone in the system you can see here this is the local chat my recommendation is whenever you're in low security or zero security space always keep your chat separate um, well that's not really what I want to recommend many people do recommend that I recommend that you always keep it uh, on top of everything else and I normally what what am I doing now sorry small um, small uh, technical issue always keep your local chat open because you see who is who else is in the system and that is really important information uh, if you look at the top uh, left corner you will see the name of the system and also the security status of the system here we're talking about a point four this is low security and we're gonna go ahead and undock okay I'm going to warp to our safe spot and while my ship is going there let me uh, let me open the map and not the system map but the actual star map and talk about our location you may remember from last episode we spoke about zero security space and I think it was roughly this is where we were last time doing our scavenging and if you recall I said you know just find the first red dot and uh, set your destination by right clicking well that's pretty much the same way I found my uh, location in low security I just tried to, this is somewhere roughly where our new system was and then I just went in the map looked for the first orange I can see or the closest orange I can see I right clicked I set destination that's how you get to low sec my only recommendation guys to you is that you find a position in low sec which is kind of a few jumps into the orange area not exactly at the border with the orange area and the reason for this is that border uh, systems tend to be a bit busier and more actually dangerous because a lot of pirate players um, roam around looking for new players to, 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 to kill so just be mindful of that that's about location. Let's talk a little bit about safety. Uh, obviously, I'm in a safe spot or a booked marked location. As you remember last time, we spoke how to do that. Mm, the problem with my booked mark location right now, let me just go back to system mode. The problem with my booked mark location is that this is uh, my very first one. And it's probably uh, between the Stargate, I guess that Stargate here and uh and the planet i think this planet here planet one um, now whenever you have a bookmark between two warpable objects um, it's generally easier to find out uh, by other players so what you want to do is when once you make your first bookmark just warp to another object from that bookmark such as this and make a bookmark in the middle open your people and places click down here add location close open this and let's call it bookmark b 
wait of somewhere in the middle B submit and you can see now you have a new location this location is not in between two warpable objects this is between your previous bookmark and that warpable object which makes it now a little bit more difficult for people to find me so that's that's just a little tip on how to make a bit better bookmarks now let me close the oh nice ice planet we're back to our bookmark B so always make sure you have at least one or two bookmarks per system you can get really fancy with bookmarks you can make uh, different uh, strategical bookmarks uh, at stargates at planets you know as you go you will find what actually suits you and what's interesting for you uh, and, and and helps you be safer in low security space the next thing and actually parallel to that is uh, in fact is your uh, scanner down here you remember let me close that remember that little button here control alt uh, not control alt alt d or just press this button get your scanner directional scanner guys your best friend mash that thing every 10 10 or 30 seconds make sure you know who's around you uh, if you set your filters probably properly and I, I did link some some tutorials on that uh, in my last video and I'll probably uh, just make sure I I link something about that uh, in this video as well you will be able to filter out just player ships my current setup here is player ships and scan probes scan probes is something players um, put in space to, to scan for other players so whenever I see a scan probe I know trouble is ahead so I, I then I I know I have to be careful yeah, the scan probes basically can find you even in safe spots such as this one. So it's not really that safe, as safe as it sounds. So once you have found your system and you and you decided this is your, your station to, to, to set your base from, and we just got a person that came in, always check who comes in, member of Korean industrial, hmm, a character created in 2013 April, friendly face <laughs> be careful about this guy what let's warp to our station I want to show you something that is called instant undock now instant undock let's undock whenever you undock uh, you're vulnerable because somebody may be waiting just right out of the station outside of the station um, and trying to kill you you have 30 second timer, I think it is, correct me people if I'm wrong, uh, to be outside here without being immune basically to, to people locking you and shooting you. But after that they can kill you. Or after that or the moment you cha change your direction or start warping away somewhere in the, in the period of you aligning to the place you want to warp, people can kind of shoot you. So to minimize that risk, um, you need to have a frigate. This is a frigate. We'll talk about chips and fitting uh, towards the end of the episode. And you need to have a micro warp drive. So undock and just turn on your micro warp drive. What this is going to do is going to basically um, move you far, far away from the station. Don't change your direction. Don't do anything. Just turn on your micro warp drive. Uh, make sure always, always, of course, nobody's around. And go away from the station at least five or, or six hundred kilometers it's gonna take some time so that's why you want to make sure there's not many people around there's another guy who just came in that guy doesn't look that bad yeah peace to you sir let me be back with you once i'm sufficiently far away from the station okay we are 200 kilometers away from the station my recommendation is to go further but just for, for demonstrating purposes let's just assume this is what we want to go for and just uh, right click uh, oh, can I do this right click in space no uh, just just go in your people and places uh, tab again add location and bookmark the spot where you are submit and now you have your undock uh, bookmark let's see how that works let me just turn this off and uh, dock back in and I'll, I'll be back with you guys when when I'm I'm in the station 
all right dock back again and i'm gonna undock and demonstrate what this bookmark does for us all right now you just right click in space this is the spot in in nabian solar system we just bookmarked and i just click warp to zero and you can see immediately just with a little twist maybe that wasn't very good that, that there was just that twist maybe try as, as as little difference there must be as little time difference between the fact the moment you say warp and the moment you you, you start warping it should be instant sometimes there's a little bit of a twist when you undock and just twist your ship a little bit that doesn't make your bookmark perfect but I think with a couple of trial and errors you're gonna make it I think to me this is good enough uh, but again we're not going too much into the details this is just a demonstration it helps a lot to make sure that uh, you, you you're undocking from your stations correctly and safely okay guys our next topic is a little more exciting than that let me just go ahead and switch my ship to my scanning ship and talk about scanning you know exploration is all about discovering hidden treasure in space and the way you discover that is by using your scan ship each race has a cheap scan ship uh, available to new players and in this case this is the Mag magnate i think it's the per pronunciation i'm sorry if i'm massacring that i'm gonna warp to my b location we created and we're gonna show and demonstrate how scanning works i'm gonna talk about um the ship fitting another couple of minutes later or uh, towards the end of the episode for now just scanning basics again this is not meant to be a full scanning tutorial so i did i think link something in the last episode and if i didn't i'll link it into that episode just make sure if you're interested in more details to check those out now i'm load launching my uh, scan probes Remember we spoke about scan probes in the beginning of the episode. And this is how they look. Uh, basically these are core scan probes. Core scan probes are used to find treasure or hidden sites in space. And combat scanner probes are used to find ships. So you you get worried when you see <laughs> when you see combat scanner probes. So you see when I hit scan I can actually see them on my scanner as well. What I usually do is I just go in a random direction start moving while I'm scanning just not to stay in one place. I don't know if that makes a huge difference but I like to do that. Open the map and you can see your scanner probes here. Right now the little sphere is basically your distance you, to which you're scanning. You can go to maximum of 32 AU. Uh, the interface for your scanning probes is right next to your directional scan tab. Just click on this, show the interface, you see all your probes in space. They do have expiration time, so be careful. <laughs> Once they expire, they, they get destroyed. So what I do is I control A, I select all of them, right click and just choose the maximum scan range, which is 32 AU. Gets me the sphere. And in terms of scanning, guys, all you need to remember is that you're always scanning around planets. Your stuff you're looking for is always around planets so make sure you move your probes um, in this case our maximum scan range is smaller than the solar system so I would just go ahead and scan the little bits and pieces one by one my preference I know some people prefer to move separate scan probes such as this way uh, to 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 the different locations but I'm just gonna go ahead and do this hit the scan or analyze button right here the probes just warped in as you could see and now we are it's about what eight or nine seconds to analyze and we have one cosmic anomaly we are looking for cosmic signatures no cosmic signatures as you can see therefore nothing in that area so i'm just going to move to this planet because it was off the limits of my scan and hit the button one more time probes are warping starting to analyze i'm going to sip for my coffee apologies for a moment early morning here 
Okay, another cosmic anomaly and no signatures yet. And one, I know there's one more planet right here, so I'm just going to position my probes there. Be careful, this is 3D, so you may it may look like you, you're in the middle or you're, 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 you're right on the spot. But it could be, for example, something like this. So you think you're in the spot, but actually when you move down, you see you're way, way off. So just always make sure you, you check how your object, which is this planet here, uh, uh, correlates to to your pro the position of your props hit analyze okay somebody entered the system let's quickly check who that is security status hmm it's been oh well I'm Christ in shades okay that's way too long to read long employment history old character since 2010 so potentially dangerous person for us don't forget to match the scan directional scan every once uh, in a while and clearly nothing here so you push your recover probes button you open your map oh well, we were on the map okay sorry for that open your star map and let's choose a route um, what I'm going to do probably just go for something like this and just right click set destination and you can see this is six jumps into low security space and I'm gonna jump into each of these systems and scan each of them like that I'm not gonna show all of this to you guys but that's basically what I did here I'm gonna do in the other system yeah my probes are now back in my cargo hold I'm just gonna right click my scanner and reload all of them um, that's not my scanner my launcher and essentially, I'll cut through this, guys, and come back to you once I find something. Okay, guys, we're back, and I think today is not our lucky day. This is exploration. Sometimes you win, and sometimes you don't. We did uh, get, finally, a radar site, but it's kind of far away, and I don't think I'll have the time to, to go and loot it uh, today on camera. Um, last time you saw me do a radar site, so you kind of know already how it looks, uh, what's going on there and so on. But there was one uh, particular aspect I wanted to talk about today, and luckily I had another session uh, a couple days ago, which I recorded. And I'm going to show you one very little small bit of it, uh, about a minute or so, where we uh, demonstrate how you can basically avoid the combat in those sites, because this is key. As a new player, you may not be skilled enough your your character may not be skilled enough uh, to fight off the NPCs in low sec with your little ship so to save you that uh, hassle and the potential of you know probability of getting your ship blown up there's a small trick uh, that you can do and you saw me last time do it uh, you basically fly away from the can more than 150 kilometers away which is the warpable uh, distance NPCs while you're flying away are chasing you so you wait for them to chase you long enough and then once they're far away about 50 or 60 kilometers away from the can you just warp back to the can and zero at zero and, and you loot it so here is the footage uh, I'm gonna be explaining over the footage and uh, hopefully it's clear and hopefully it helps you Okay, we are already at the site and I have already flown away far enough to, to warp back. And this is what I'm doing now, I'm just warping back. You can see the little the little um, group of NPCs is far away enough as a uh, dude I was checking out. Uh, it's blocking the view, come on, go away dude. Checking the scanner for, for enemies. So I, I just warped back to the can at zero. And you can see there's a small group of embassies down there which is not a threat to me i'm orbiting uh, the thing or trying to orbit it now locking it up and hacking it so this will be sufficient time for me before anybody you see they're chasing me before anybody comes back to me uh i have sufficient time to peacefully hack the the can and and loot it so it will take a little bit of time to, to hack it. 
in this case we didn't take too many cycles and we're we're in got a nice loot drop it in my cargo hold and fly away that's pretty much it guys So using this technology you can really, or technique, you can really uh, basically do all the cans that are guarded by NPCs. Not all sites have NPCs that guard the cans, but if you do come across such a site, uh, now you know how to handle it. Hope this was helpful. <laughs> Alright guys, let's talk a little bit about the ships we are using and the skills we are using before we end this episode. Uh, you just saw it already. We have two ships. One is our scan ship and the other one is uh, our loot ship or combat ship. Um, every race has uh, this equivalent pair and I will um, put that into the link. Uh, well, not into the link, into the description of the video below. So you can see which race has which ones. The scan ship essentially does only that it just scans and if I open the fit window you can see that I have my expanded probe launcher nothing else in the high slots in the medium slots I have my uh, micro warp drive and in the low slots I have inertia and a nano nanofiber structure uh, the reason I have these here in the low slot is just to somehow maybe maximize my align speed and be faster when when I warp away I don't know how much it helps me but somehow I guess a little bit it helps in the rig slots I put small gravity capacitor upgrade both of them are filled in and I have all the rig energy fill full or the calibration full so I can't put any more rigs and those two help me to increase the strength of my scan probes right increase ship scan probe strength very handy the ship itself has uh, bonuses to scan strength of the probes because it's a scan ship so if you add this to the rigs uh, you, you're doing pretty well you're doing pretty well and you can scan down pretty much anything you want in EVE guys everything from skill training to ship fitting is purpose driven be mindful of this try to avoid multi-purpose fitting stuff uh, if you get a ship get it for a reason I got this ship for scanning because I want to do exploration I put the micro warp drive because I, I, I think speed is, is vital for, for me I want to be sp speedy and fast uh, my expanded probe launcher obviously is there because otherwise I wouldn't be able to launch probes I already discussed the rigs and uh, the, I already discussed why I have the low slot. So you see, everything I've done here with this ship, it's not, I'm not saying this is the perfect or the only way you can fit the ship. I'm just saying that I've done it and I've done it for a reason. All the skills that are needed to, to fit that ship are also trained for that very reason. So it's really important to know what you want to do in the game because then this will define how you train your character and how you, how you equip your ships. If we have a cl closer look at um, at the combat uh, bad boy here, open up the fittings uh, screen, you can see it doesn't have rigs, so it's rig free. Mm, it has some basic uh, lasers fit with some basic uh, laser crystals fit, fit uh, on it. Obviously, if you're flying a different race ships, uh, you will have a different weapon system. So, Amar is doing lasers, so that's why I have lasers. I have a salvager equipped to this one because I um, haven't, <laughs> haven't used it so far. I haven't spoken about salvaging either too much. But I have it there in case there's something I decide uh, is good to salvage. It's, it's just there. Micro warp drive, super important. You have to have it. Again, uh, all the things that you've seen me do, all due to the micro warp drive, even the trick I just described uh, a minute ago about loading the site, that's that's why you need it. That's why it's there. Cannot do really a radar site without your co code breakers. That's a must. That's basically a profession module. The module is linked directly to your profession. 
And in the low slots, you can see I have a basic tank. I don't have a plate, so it's just resistances and, and an armor repairer. Um, I didn't put a plate because plate will be heavy and it will take a lot of uh, my resources on the ship fitting uh, resources uh, side. And I just wanted to keep it simple. Plus, again, we're not. Uh, this is not meant to be a super uh, uber fit ship. It's just really meant to have a basic survivability uh, uh, within the radar site. Okay, final words uh, on skill training for exploration. Let me open my character screen here, go to skills and open the training queue. Uh, I'm currently training engineering, but that's not exactly what you really need. I, I had in my one of my last episodes, I think it was the last one, I did link uh, a tutorial for exploration. So you'll find all the information you need there. But just, just for demonstration, I also in this video's uh, description, I will uh, list the actual skills I have for exploration. So in in, in very simple terms, um, astrometric pinpointing, astrometric range find, finding, astrometrics, all of these are your exploration skills. They help you use those, fa those fancy probes, uh, uh, narrow down signatures, and uh, then find them out, pinpoint them, warp to them, and have fun. Hacking, clearly you need that to use your uh, code breaker. There's a bunch of support skills uh, that I have trained as well, not too much. My overall skills, number of skills right now is 572 skill points, thousands, which is rather low. Uh, you can see my noob clone of 900,000 has not been reached yet, kind of in the, a little bit over the middle. One more time. I said that, but I'm going to repeat it for skill training as well as ship fitting and anything else in EVE. Really, that's defined by your goal. If you want to do exploration then train yourself towards exploration if you want to do mining train yourself towards mining you can always of course uh, do combination of the two it's possible uh, as a matter of fact in the beginning you're probably going to start mixing skills but try to as soon as possible as soon as feasible as soon as it is feasible for you to find your direction and start training in that direction specialize your character in the beginning, it's much better than, than spreading yourself way too much. Bear in mind that on top of your standard uh, profession skills, you have something that is called core skills. And that generally, these are skills that help you fly your ships more efficiently and, and make you a better pilot overall. Uh, look those up. Look, look up the core skills and try to train them as soon as possible in your career because that's going to make your life generally very, very, very easy. And before we go, let me just show you the progress uh, for so far we've made. Uh, you can see here that our total loot cost is, or yeah, price is about 30 million. Uh, don't worry about these little things, they don't really cost that much. So, really, the main uh, the main bonus comes from these uh, discs here. They cost a lot of money. So we have uh, so far collected a load of 30 million. I've spent about two hours doing this. I don't have really too much time, uh, but I, I'm not that far away from the 100 million ISK target. And this is episode three. So hopefully by episode five, we achieve, <laughs> achieve target uh, or, the, or the goal and, um, and be uh, on our merry way to finish this absolutely amazing series. Guys, it's been a pleasure uh, delivering you this episode. It's been a bit more theoretical episode, but I, I felt we need to step back a bit and just explain a couple of things. While we didn't go too much into the details of any of those, I think it's, it, 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 there was a value in explaining these things. Stay tuned for episode 4, hopefully coming in about a week, as, as it is the usual frequency, where we will do some high security ninja salvaging as well as uh, probably if we get lucky zero security salvaging um, of, uh, of, of, the, of some abandoned battlefields I don't know it depends if we get lucky to get get the right uh, right spot on those in the meantime I just want to thank you one more time for the support appreciate any time you pr press the like button I know that people press it only when they like the video but if you forgot 
and you really like the video, now is the time to press that button. Being subscribed to CircClick helps you be on top of what's going on and you're going to get an immediate notification once I upload next video. So that, that could be really helpful for you and for me. Let me know any thoughts and ideas, any suggestions, put them in the comments below. I'm happy, always happy to receive feedback and I'll try to respond to anybody's and everybody's comment as they come. Thank you one more time and I'll see you again in a week. Sir Click, signing off.